Blackboard's May release 3900.91 is available as of today, May 2nd, 2024. New features include the ability to add question feedback on student responses when grading by question, improved gradebook navigation, the ability to add multiple performance criteria in release conditions, and improvements in the weighted grade calculations. The ability to add feedback to student responses when grading by question has been highly anticipated and is now available in Blackboard. In the grading window, instructors can select the questions tab and then click the plus sign near the grade pill to add feedback for students. And then save changes and you will now see a little purple indicator on the feedback bubble. To leave overall feedback, you can click on the Students tab and then insert feedback in this text box. Students can view the feedback by clicking View Submission, and they will find the feedback under each question. The May release also features changes to how instructors navigate between the different gradebook views. Prior to this release, the second toolbar at the top of the gradebook view featured two icons to select between list view and grid view. Now, you will have the option to choose gradable items, which is a list of the gradable items in the course, grades, which is the grid view, and students, which is a list of students. You can click on an individual student and then see their individual submissions or assignments. Instructors will now have the ability to set multiple performance criteria for release conditions. To do so, select release conditions then check the box next to performance. Choose a gradable item and select the required score. To add additional performance criteria, click the plus sign, choose the next item, and choose the required score. When finished, click Save. Students will now have to complete both of those assessments, receiving the required score in order to access this assessment. Lastly, instructors that use weighted grade calculations now have the ability to weight grades proportionally or equally within a category. Prior to this release, weighted items in a category had proportional weights. To view or change this setting, go to the Gradebook tab and then click Settings. Scroll down and click Manage Overall Grade Settings and make sure you have the weighted category selected. If you use total points, this change will not impact your course. Under the weighted category, you now have the option to choose proportionally or equally. If you would like assignments to be weighted based on their point value within a category, choose proportionally. In this example, this rubric's performance assignment is worth 20% of the grade, while the other three assignments are worth 10. This is based on the point value of this assignment being double the point value of the other assignments. If you prefer to equally weight, select Equally, and you will now see that each item in this category will be worth 12.5% of the category grade, regardless of the point value of each individual assignment. Again, if you use total points or an advanced setting, this change will not impact your course or your gradebook. If you have questions about any of these new features, or if you need support with your Blackboard course, please reach out to CIDL 
at sitl, C-I-T-L, at niu.edu.